Okay, so today, guys, we are going to be um, officially ending, for my channel at least, ending the talk between RZ and RB. So, welcome back to the channel, Mr. Boy Shiggy. As usual, you already know what it is. I'm super excited to be making this video because I'm excited to make every single video for you guys. And I love doing this, and I love doing this. But today, um, like I said, we're gonna be ending the talk between the RZ and the RB. Which one is better? So, as you guys know, I've been using the RB. That was my first six by seven camera. The biggest comparison to the RB was the RZ, and everybody would ask me, why did you pick the RB over the RZ? And I've already made a video about this before, but I'm gonna touch on it today, finally, because I've officially been using the RZ. Thank you, Marcus. I've been using the RZ for quite a bit of time now, so, you know, I feel like my opinion will be a bit more credible, given that I have used the RZ for, you know, a couple weeks now, and let's end this talk. Let's end it. But before we get started, I want to do a tribute to both cameras. The RB will be first, and then the RZ will be second. And here's a tribute. Here's a couple photos that I've taken with both cameras. So now that you guys seen the work that I've done with both cameras. It's now we can start talking about it. Now we can, now we can so now we can start talking about it. So which one is better, the RZ or the RB? My opinion, I you know what? Let's let's talk about the pros and cons between both of them. So the RB being the first camera I've used, we'll, I'll go first with the RB. So starting with the RB, pros. It's very cheap compared to the RZ. We're talking five hundred plus dollars cheaper than the RZ. Second pro, it has bellows, which means you can focus in really close. Hit those eyes. Get those, get that tech sharp. If you're using a proper lens, hoo -hoo -hoo. awesome. And another pro is the lenses do end at 3.5, which is really good for medium format. And as well as another pro that I love is the fact that it is mechanical. So it's a mechanical camera. You don't need a battery. You don't need nothing. It just takes photos. You take it right now, you pick it up, and it will take the photo. That's it. No battery needed. And now the cons. Oh, the cons. You have to advance twice. You have to crank in the, fo in the front like this. You have to crank like this and in the back. Fuck. Oh my god. It's always a back one. It's always a back crank. Right. You have to crank both. And another thing is, it's old. Pretty old. Older than this guy. Another thing is, it's really heavy. It's a pretty heavy camera. Are you not able to walk around with it? If you're doing street photography, I do not suggest you owning it. It is a studio camera primarily. Can you do it? Absolutely. Do you need to be jacked? I don't know. Do I look like I'm crazy jacked? No. But I carried it everywhere, so... There you go, that answers that question. But um, it is clunky, it is heavy, and a lot of the backs for the RB, they do get stuck. That is a fact. A lot of the backs on the RBs, they do get stuck. But here's another thing that is really awesome about it. It is cheap to replace it. How often does it get stuck? I don't know, I don't know. Mine, it got stuck after a year. So there you go. It got stuck after a year. Was I unable to use it? No, I was still able to use it. It's just a bit finicky, but I could understand why that could be a problem for other people. But for me, my camera is my camera. I learned how to use it. And it's an old camera. What do you expect, right? So next thing with the RZ, let's talk about the RZ. Pros, oh my God. Don't get me started on the RZ pros. Very light, lighter than the RB. Easier to use, you only have to crank once because as you can see, when I crank, it's advancing. So check this out, crank, it's advancing. Lighter, feels a lot better. It's a bit smaller in terms of real estate, but it is a heavier camera. That's not gonna change. And there is another lens for the RZ that I believe is a 2.8. So better lens, better uh, 2.8, easier to use. So when we're talking about easier to use, guys, I'm talking just me not cranking the second time, big pro, very, very big pro 
Me not cranking means I'm able to be shooting faster. I'm able to be go moving on to the next thing. I'm able to do the next thing. Just just mobility is just such a big key when you're using these cameras. But I will say the weight of this camera is like let's just say let's talk about mobility here. Both of these cameras are not ideal for street photography. They're not ideal. They're not a run and gun photo making machine. They are a studio camera. They are a studio camera. They're not the best, but are you able to carry them? Yes. I'm talking for people that don't like carrying heavier cameras. If you don't like heavy cameras, this is not for you. If you want, this really slows down your process as well. So if you're in the market for these, if you're wanting to do run and gun on the fly, oh, I see a shot, boom. It's not gonna happen with these. These you need to take your time because the bellows, they take a while, right? These these you need to like focus with the bellows, like that. By the time you're focused, whatever, if you're trying to take a bird, it's gone. It is, fam, that, that bird is gone, fam. It is, it's not even here. <laughs> the bird is in like fucking Saskatchewan or some type of shit. With that being said, this is lighter, 100% lighter compared to the RB, but I mean, if you're gonna be in the studio, the lightness does not matter that much. You just put it on the studio. If you're gonna be taking portraits and you're slowing down, yes, it might matter to an extent. You, it might give you an extra 20 minutes to shoot, but to me, that's not a big deal. But it is lighter. And that 20 minutes, I could use to do other things as well. So this has been benefit. I've been benefiting a lot from the way it's lighter. I'm not gonna totally dog it and say, hey, this is not this is not a big deal. It is a big deal. It is a pretty big deal because the best camera you could have is a camera that you could carry with you anywhere and everywhere. So yes, I will rather carry this other than the RB67, 100%. When we're talking about functionality, this is way better. And that, well, this is the other thing I wanted to talk about. So these are leaf shatters, but with the RB, when you're trying to do long exposures, you have to connect it through the lens. I am not 100% sure, but with the RZ, you don't have to do that. I don't understand why, but this is what I heard. Don't take it with a grain of salt, but I heard that's a difference. You just only need to put it in your shutter, your shutter release. You don't need to put it through the lens. You don't need to do any of that. And you just hit it. From every single video they've been doing, for every single video I've watched with the RZ, they've been doing that. So we're gonna say, that's how it's done. If you wanna know exactly, search it up. That's why we have the internet. I am the least technical person. I just make photos. I just know how to make photos, but yes. With the RB, the long exposure process is a lot longer and it's a lot more of a hassle. But with that being said, now for the final verdict between the RZ and the RB. If I had money, if I was, you know, rich as fudge, I would go with the RZ. If I want a medium format camera that um, I just, I, I want a medium format camera that takes incredible, stunning photos, but cheaper to get me to that goal of being rich, the RB67. Personally, in this, I'm sort of in the middle ground of all of that. I think even when I do have money, I will own an RZ and an RB. Why? Why will you still own the camera that is due to a quote unquote compared to this the reason why is for one reason this uses a battery that was the con i forgot to mention the con forgive me the biggest con with the rz is it's make it's electronical so a lot of the things in this camera are electronical and i don't know about you anything electronical from your phone to, to like your headphones, anything electronical poses a problem. I've heard so many things about things breaking in the RZ that are annoying. And fixing this, fixing this, good luck. It's gonna take you a lot of money and it's gonna be a just harder to fix because not a lot of people fix these anymore. Buying broken components out of this for this camera, let's say the back got, got, got jammed, of which it could jam. I'm not saying it doesn't jam. The, the RB back is more likely to jam than the RZ, but you will get those kind of problems and replacing the back for this guy, good luck. You can't just replace it. So if I had to pick one, Shingy, if you had to pick one, you pick two, 
If I had to pick one, I would pick the RB67. The reason why I'm picking the RB67 because it's simply mechanical. As you guys saw in the beginning, I showed you all the images that I've taken with both cameras and they've been both phenomenal, both incredible, both bellow work. Everything about these cameras, what makes this camera very special guys? Let's talk about it. What makes this camera special is the bellows and what makes the RZ special and the RB special again bellows so the bellows is what makes this camera so with that being said I get bellows on the RB I get bellows on the RZ image quality lenses is practically the exact same yes you do have a 2.8 lens that is awesome I'm not gonna shoot 2.8 because I don't really care for 2.8 that's why I went with the RB. I was able to afford the RZ, but I went with the RB because anybody knows, I, well, for me. For me, I'd rather pick reliability over functionality. When I pick up, when I picked up the RB, I got three backs. Why? Because they're cheap as hell. They're so cheap. They're so cheap. Like one back breaks, okay, I'll just get another one. Another back breaks, okay, I'll get another one. And I bring them with me when I do my photo shoots, when I do anything, but, as for the body and the way it functions, reliable because it's mechanical. This guy, he could break on me, the battery might die, mid shoot, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, damn, I have no camera. So for me personally, I would pick the RB67 over the RZ because it's just way more reliable, way more reliable way more reliable i don't care about mobility i don't care about anything i just want to know if i go on set i want to i want my camera to work i want it to work i want it when i when it breaks i have it i have like a replacement for it like that easily and i want to know that my kids would have it i want to know my kids 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 would have it i want to know my kids 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 could have it okay this within time it will break and they will like they will become rare with it over time the RB67, yes, they'll break, but they'll, they're less likely to become rare in the future. But with that being said, that's my opinion. Tell me guys what you guys think. Tell me what you think. Would you pick the RB67 or the RZ? Let me know why in the comments down below. This camera is not mine. Thank you to Marcus. He's been lending me his RZ. I'm still looking for a new camera right now. I'm really leaning towards, I'm not going to say it. Um, But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope we finally ended this on my part on and on this channel the fight between rz and rb if you have money and you have extra money and you're able to afford this 100 percent go with the rz functionality everything will be awesome really good really quick if you want a camera that does the exact same thing cheaper but a bit heavier and a bit harder to work through go with the rb67 that's about it that's pretty much it and another reason why I like the RB is it really slows me down it really makes me think about my exposure and everything else when I was using this I found myself missing a lot of shots because it's like having a digital camera you just shoot 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 you get shit done but for me I'd rather slow down and I'd rather take my time I've always taken my time in all my photo shoots as you guys can see but um yeah that's pretty much it I hope you guys like this video it's the boy Shinya as usual you already know what it is if you like this video give it a big thumbs up if you don't like it give it a thumbs down it's all bueno thank you guys again follow me on instagram at shot by shing if you want to see some photos i've taken with the rz and the rb check out my portfolio shop by and if you want to support me by purchasing some merch and helping me buy future cameras to review not to review to talk about <laughs> head over to waybetterco.com i have some merch on there that says shoot film and i have some shirts that have my pictures on them and all that type of stuff so head over there purchase a shirt it really helps me out a lot and thank you to everybody that's been making a purchase you are incredible you're helping me a ton and last but not least follow and hashtag at we photo gods if you want me to check you out check out your hot photo and to potentially repost you to a community that is so incredible we hit 800 guys 800 follows on instagram thank you guys so so much you guys are awesome and everybody's just been supporting all photos are doing like 100 plus likes which is awesome that's what i want to see we have to support each other guys that's very 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 important but um yeah other than that that's pretty much it thank you guys again go create do be positive go create support each other all that nice stuff but yeah that's pretty much it 
Thank you guys again. It's the boy Shingy as usual again. <gasps> Deuces!